After the truce of 1357 had expired between the kingdoms of England and Scotland, the Scots decided to take advantage of the power struggle that existed between the English king, Richard II, and his barons by mounting a major raid into northern England. In the summer of 1388, James, Earl of Douglas, led a force of 6,000 Scots across the border into England towards Newcastle and then on to Durham, burning and looting as they went. The Earl of Northumberland sent his son, Henry Hosper Percy, to intercept the marauding Scots on their way home to teach them a lesson. During an initial skirmish, Hotspur and Douglas met in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and during the encounter that followed, Percy's silk banner was captured by Douglas. Heading back to the border with his loot, Douglas stopped one last time in order to lay siege to the castle at Otterburn. There are two different accounts to why Douglas decided to delay his return to Scotland. The first is that he was simply unaware that Percy was in such a hot pursuit. The second, and more chivalric version, is that Douglas paused to allow Hotspur the chance to regain his colours. Either way, Percy's arrival on the battlefield at Otterburn in the early evening took the Scots by surprise. Percy attacked Douglas's encampment with a surprise attack in the late afternoon, but first encountered the Earl's serving men, giving the bulk of the Scottish forces time to muster and attack them on their flank. Douglas led the left wing of the Scottish force, while John Dunbar, Earl of Moray, led the right. Hotspur's men, having run up from Newcastle, were tired and disorganised as they made their way onto the field. Hotspur was so overly confident that he attacked the Scots while the rest of his force was still marching up through Waterburn. During the battle, on a moonlit night, Douglas was killed, though his death had no influence on the outcome of the battle and went unnoticed until much later. Sir John Montgomery captured Henry Percy with the remaining English force retreating to Newcastle. Despite the English having supposedly outnumbered the Scots 3 to 1, the Scottish sources report 1,040 English were captured and 1,860 killed, whereas just 200 Scots were captured and 100 were killed. The English sources, however, estimate Scottish casualties to around 500. Some have suggested that Hotspur's rashness and eagerness to engage the Scots and the added tiredness of the English army after its long march north were, without a doubt, the reasons for English defeat, despite having an advantage of 3 to 1. This decisive victory kept the two sides apart for a while, that would not be the last time we'd hear the name Henry Hotspur.